Hi. Fancy <laughs> seeing you here. You look cute. Thanks. I put makeup on. <laughs> oh God, so We're going to give it a minute. You don't have to like unmute yourself or anything like that. We're going to give it a minute and let people hop on. I'm going to scoot out a couple of reminders. Yeah, I'll do the same. Hey, Kelsey. Hi. Hey, Rach. Oh. Hey, Rach. I want to be like, hi, everybody. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I forgot that I set this to record automatically. I'm all like, oh. Okay, good. Yeah. We are having like a terrible storm right now. So hopefully everything goes okay. <laughs> oh, I see it now. Huh? Antonetta, I was about to text her. I gave her. A fair warning. <laughs> she okay. asked for it to her defense. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. I'm trying to see. I think, um, okay, there's Evelyn. And there was one more gal, I believe, hopping on. But really, what about you? Sorry? What about you, sis? Are you, do you have a couple more peeps? I think so. If they hop on, then they hop on, but I sent out my uh, reminders, so. All righty. <clears throat> okay. Well, I mean, to respect everyone's time and all of that, like, we'll go ahead and just get started because this is being recorded. So if at any point you guys, um, you know, after we finish the webinar, I uh, would like to see the, the recording of it in case you were like, what did they say about this? Or, you know, that you definitely can, can have the link, of course. Um, so welcome. <laughs> Brittany and I love hosting these webinars. We love sharing our stories. We love just sharing the things we love about coaching. We like being a hundred percent real when it, <laughs> when it comes to, when it comes to, um, you know, even the objections we had prior to coaching, like we want to be a hundred percent real with you and I talk with my hands. So you're going to see this a lot. Um, but, uh, the reason why, um, Brittany and I are actually running this together. Cause I'm sure you guys follow us on Instagram or follow one of us. And you are like, who is this Brittany girl? Who is this Kayla girl? So her and I are actually, um, we call each other success partners. We're business partners and it's, um, pretty cool. Cause we kind of, we're like a package deal. We do everything together. So if you guys, you know, enroll with us, you'll be like working, um, alongside, you know, our teams and, and we, you know, each other and everything. So it's pretty, it's a pretty cool thing, but again, welcome. Um, we are super excited that you guys, uh, are setting aside the time to hop on. I know it's eight o'clock here in Tennessee. It's nine o'clock Eastern and wherever you guys are, you know, either way it's a valuable time. So we're going to make sure we answer any questions um, and just basically, you know, pour our hearts out into this. So um, without further ado, Brittany's going to share a little bit about uh, the Beachbody and, and what the company means and stands for. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So, um, hi, for those of you guys that don't know me, my name's Brittany Kaiser. Um, and I'm one of the co-founders of Caleb Hustle and Inspire Sisters, which is the family that you guys are going to be part of when, um, when you sign up to be a coach. So, um, what I like to do at the beginning of these calls, because I knew really nothing about the company when I started coaching, I had to Google all this. Um, but I like to give a little bit of a background just so you guys know, like, where we're coming from and then we'll kind of throw our hearts out on our sleeves and then we'll wrap up the call with all of the fine details. Um, but for those of you guys that don't know, we're beach body coaches, super proud. I honestly think it's like one of the best jobs in the world. And, um, I think it's a complete honor. Um, for those of you guys that don't know, um, 
Beachbody is a network marketing company, but I don't want you know to, you to frame it with you know any um, other stigmas maybe that you have heard of before. I also talk with my hands, um, but I yes, please drop any questions below. Um, what I like to refer to us as, and what I've heard other people say, so I'm stealing it, is that we are a multi-level helping company. You know, I, I've done other multi-level marketing companies before, and it just wasn't for me because I was, you know, selling people stuff that they weren't, you know, it wasn't going to change their life at the end of the day, but this has changed my life. And so that's why we're here to share it with you. So, um, Beachbody as a company started, uh, just over 20 years ago, they just celebrated their 20th anniversary. It started out with one program that was recorded on the beach. <laughs> um, but the object of it was to give people a way to bring fitness wherever they were. Um, at least at that point, it was to be at home. Um, so that was kind of the goal 20 years ago, was to bring health and fitness. They brought nutrition into it. Um, a few years after they started was Shakeology, the delicious superfood shakes that we drink every day. It's not just the Kool-Aid. Like, it's really stuff that we love. We only talk about things that we truly love and have benefited our lives. Um, but about... Five years in, um, the CEO and the president of Beachbody looked at each other and they were like, so, okay, we've mastered the home fitness thing. You know, we're fresh on the home front for with this and we have a way for people to change their lives in wellness. But what if we could give people an opportunity to earn a lifetime of freedom? You know, whatever that means for you, you know, freedom means different things to different people, but a lot of it comes down to money and an opportunity, a business opportunity. And they never promised that it would be easy, um, but it would be all in the name of changing lives. And that's what we're here to do. So it wasn't actually a company that started out as network marketing. It just kind of grew into that. Um, but I actually really love that because it never started with the intent of, um, you know, like sliding into people's DMs or anything like crazy that you guys have heard or seen, or uh, we've all gotten those messages before. Um, but um, it's, it's just genuinely about helping people and giving people opportunities for freedom and wellness, whether it's financially or working out in your um, living room, or now that they've got beach body on hand, you can take it anywhere. So, um, Real quick, I can see you guys, uh, do any of you guys, or you can drop it in the comments. Um, are any of you guys already like customers? Do you, are you guys familiar with Beachbody at all? I know Shelby is. <laughs> um, okay, perfect. Yay, 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 yay. Awesome. That's great. Well, hopefully you guys are loving what you're already doing. Um, if you're new to it, then we'll, we'll get to the full rundown, but it's really um, a one-stop shop. It's a it's something that really nobody else has ever done, you know, um, as far as bringing fitness and wellness and nutrition to the masses in one place. So, um, that being said, does anybody have any questions? If not, we don't normally have questions on this part, but feel free to drop them if you have some, if not, then we'll get straight into, uh, sharing our stories. Nope. Okay, go once, go twice. I have a fly on my computer. That's disgusting. All right. Okay. I muted myself because it's like thundering. I don't know if you guys can even hear it, but I'm like, it is really loud here. So um, <clears throat> basically, I'm going to, I'm going to share a little bit about me, my story, and Brittany's going to do the same. And, um, you know, again, we're going to go and go through our stories. We're also going to share, whoa, hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never prepared for the highlight thing, like the spotlight thing. So you're all up in my grill. Um, but I'm Kayla Sykes. Um, I am a 32 year old uh, twin mama to almost three year old boys. They are identical and they are crazy, 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 crazy. It's been a crazy day. But um, if you're moms, you feel me. Or if your aunts, you feel me. My, my youngest sister, Rachel's on this call. Um, <laughs> so she gets it. But um, I'm married. Uh, my husband, Joey, and I have been married for gosh, nine years now. We've been together for almost 14 years. So he basically is, he's here for the long, 
long hole. Um, but I am uh, a Tennessee native. I was born in Nashville, Tennessee, and I've lived in Clarksville almost all of my life. Um, and so I, you know, I love to travel. I love doing all those things. Um, I'm, I'm girly. I like, you know, makeup and things like that, but I also love sports and I like, you know, an ice cold beer and, and going to sporting events and things like that. So that's just a little bit about me, but I like to, um, kind of share a little bit about like my backstory as far as like fitness goes and like my personal experiences with, with, uh, wellness and all of that jazz, because I feel like sometimes we see coaches or fitness influence influencers on, you know, social media. And it's like, man, they really have it all together or they just know everything. I can never do that. And that's totally not true. <laughs> so let me share. Um, so like I said, I'm 32. I started working out when I was 18. It was right when I met my now husband. Um, he was really big into the gym. I never worked out a day in my life. I grew up taking dance classes, but you know, still like actually working out, lifting weights and things of that nature. Like I just, I never did that stuff. So, um, I started going to the gym and I really liked it, but I was like the cardio queen, like the cardio bunny that you see on the, you know, elliptical and, um, the treadmill and just like, you know, getting it right. I was not like, I was getting it, but I really wasn't getting it because I, you know, I never saw results, but I was like, why am I not seeing results? And, you know, looking back, it was like, what was your nutrition? It was like the types of moves you were doing or weren't doing and things like that. So, you know, we all learn, right? We all start somewhere. Um, I enjoy working out. I always have. Um, it, I think it's more of the endorphins I enjoy. I like um, how I feel and, and things like that. But, you know, it's not that I just wake up every single day. I'm like, all right, let's do this. I'm so excited to work out type of thing. Because again, I do feel like, you know, sometimes we may portray that and that's not always the case, right? We're, we're human and, and whatnot. But um, so I struggled with yo-yo dieting when I was, a, when I was a teenager or, you know, early adult or young adult in my early twenties. And, um, I don't even know if my sister knows this. Um, but I actually, at 20 years of age, I, hi, I, um, gosh, what did I do? Oh, so I worked at a tanning salon. And when you work in a tanning salon, you work with a lot of girls that are, I felt, you know, all about losing weight or all about finding like the quick fix and things like that. And, you know, I remember walking over to uh, Walgreens across the street. Um, it was in the same parking lot, but we would go on our, like our breaks and we would go and get like fat burners and like things that we heard would help you lose weight and, you know, uh, slim fast bars and things like this and like try to only eat those things. And it was just, it was horrendous. Okay. Um, but when you're 20 years old and you're just looking for something quick to, to fix, you know, you, then you do what you can or, or what you think is going to work. And, um, there was a point where I had just turned 21 and I had learned of a weight loss clinic here in Clarksville um, that people were going and buying uh, those phenamine pills, weight loss pills. And I'm sure you guys probably know what I'm talking about. Um, and so I was like, well, I want to try that. So I remember going, I kept it from my parents. I kept it from my family, my husband, you know, Joey didn't know anything about, like nobody knew. And what they do, if you don't know, <laughs> is they basically suppress your appetite. And I, I like to eat. I love food. I do. So when I was taking this month's supply of pills, basically what I was doing is I was not eating but once a day. And when I would eat, it was not very much. And then when I would get off work from the tanning salon, I worked at at 8, 30, 9 o'clock at night, I would run over to the YMCA. Not literally. I would drive. But I would go there just to get on a treadmill or do something and work out so hard. And within that month, I lost like I don't know, 20, 30 pounds. Like it was crazy. It was mind blowing, but people on the outside legitimately thought I was doing it like in a healthy way because it was like, Oh, well she's been working out and this and that, but no guys, like I was keeping it. Like people had no idea what I was doing and I'm sure we've all been there or we've all like thought about it and this and that, but guys like quick fixes are just not, they're not what works. Um, and so, you know, that was back when I was 21 and I remember 
Um, I think later that year, like I, you know, I only took those pills for like a month and a half or so. Um, but I kept it off for a little while and then boom, like I started, you know, getting my bad habits, you know, eating, like I've always struggled with nutrition, like 100%. My issue has always been nutrition. And I just, I was like, I don't know. Like I wanted to, I tried every diet, every fad, you know, out there, you know, shakes and just different things like that. And I was like, you know, something's got to give, like I would see a little result and then I would like stop, you know, cause I'm like, Oh, I've got results. I can like live again, you know? And so, um, I remember it was before it was about uh, three or four months before I was, you know, set to get married and my sister-in-law at the time still love her to this day, but she is, she still is a certified personal trainer. And so back then she was in this mentality of, okay, you've got to work out hardcore and you've got to like really like cut out like anything bad for you. Like she, she was very, um, it was like a very restrictive lifestyle and, you know, she looked great and all of that. But like, I was like, okay, like this, this sounds like it's going to suck, but I'll try it. I want to, you know, fit in my wedding dress and, you know, feel good. Right. Like we all have that goal and that, that, you know, wish. So, um, I worked out, I think five days a week for an hour at a time. Um, I had her training me basically and, you know, trying to like really watch what I was eating and this and that cut out sweets entirely, which is very rare for me. Um, in fact, I just ate some like half of a pint of enlightened ice cream before I got on this call. It's how I pregame tonight. So you're welcome. Uh, <laughs> but I just, I was so determined. I was like, okay, I've got to like, you know, really like focus and lose these pounds and all this. And guys, I never lost a pound. I lost inches, never lost any pounds, any weight. Um, so I lost about like 13 inches. I was 22 ish, 23 or whatever. I was, you know, getting married. And guys, when I, on my wedding day, I did not like feel any different. I didn't feel like, ha, ah, like now that I've lost all these inches, I am, um, I am just feel amazing. Like it's all great. Like honestly, like I was still miserable inside. Cause I was like, when I saw that wedding cake, I was like, Oh my gosh, give me cake, <laughs> you know, give me the drinks and give me this and that. But at that, you know, that night I didn't really eat a whole lot cause it was crazy enough as it is at a wedding reception. But I remember, um, I went back to work a few weeks later cause we took a honeymoon and then it was my birthday and it, we did something else. And so um, I work at a, worked at a place that was very big on potlucks and celebrating the way we celebrated people was with food. And I remember my coworkers at the time, they were really good, like at, you know, homemade stuff and like great dishes and, and everything. And so I was sitting there one day before I was set to clock out for lunch and I was like already having guilt in my head. I hadn't even ate anything yet. And I was already feeling so, so guilty. And that's not fair. <laughs> that's not cool. Um, so I was even debating on where I worked at the time I was close to home. I was like, well, I'm just going to clock out and like go home and just avoid that whole break room entirely, you know? But then I was like, well, that's not fair. Like, that's not really nice to the, the people that, you know, made the food and this and that. I think it was even a potluck for me, if I'm honest. Um, so I ended up staying and I had a plate and that one plate turned into two. And then I had a homemade cookie one of my dear friends had made, and that one cookie turned into five. And that was a very pivotal moment for me because it hit me that day that I was like, I don't have a healthy relationship with food. I have a problem. And I didn't necessarily like have like an eating, you know, a, I didn't binge, I didn't do anything like that, but I lived with so much guilt. And what would happen is it would become a snowball effect. And so it was like, okay, I've eaten like crap. So, well, I'm done. Like I'll try again on Monday. And then Monday would come and I would feel so sluggish and gross. I was like, well, maybe I'll try again next week. And then, you know, summer ha happened and it was like, well, can't do anything in summer because life, right. You know, I've got to live my life. And it, like, I just lived in this vicious cycle for years. So that was 2010. And then around 2014, um, it hit me that I was like, okay, I'm, I don't know how old I was in 2014, if I'm honest, what was that? Like, 
I don't know, five years ago. I don't, I always say I don't math. Brittany's giving me the head nod. Yes, it was five years ago. So I was 27. <laughs> but Joey and I were like, okay, it's probably time to start having a family or working towards a family. We've been married for several years. And, you know, um, you know, my mom had issues with miscarriages and stuff. And I was like, I probably will deal with the same and, and this and that. So let's go ahead and try to start. But before I wanted to like really, really start, I wanted to get healthier. So I started seeing a personal trainer at the gym I was going to. Um, I was going to Anytime Fitness at the time. And um, I was seeing her three days a week for 30 minute sessions. You don't even want to know what I was paying her for those 30 minute sessions, three days a week. Um, a lot more than what it costs to enroll to be a coach. Um, and then some. And so I was loving it. I loved her. I just, I just liked being pushed. I liked being challenged. And I started to have a little bit of hope in myself. And I was like, well, maybe I can do this. You know, maybe I can do this lifestyle. She actually uh, was running boot camp classes outside of Anytime Fitness at different locations here in town. And she invited me to come to one of them. And I was like, okay, like I'm a little nervous, but there was like a 5 a.m. class that I was going to go to and, and whatnot. And I fell in love with that. I loved not only working out and doing different things, I loved the community. I loved cheering other people on. Like, I loved it. Probably too much, but I just did. Um, and so I started seeing some results. I started getting a little bit more, like, comfortable with, like, myself. Just a little. And more physically than and even mentally. Um, and so I was seeing great results and really looking back, it was because I was shocking the crap out of my body. I was, she was doing high intensity workouts, um, not a, some weights and stuff. Like I really like lifting weights, but she was doing a lot of like high intensity stuff, things that I'd never done a day in my life. And so I was like really seeing progress. So that was 2014. Um, cause the way I looked at it was, okay, like if I'm going to get pregnant, I'm probably going to gain all this weight. And I was already dreading getting pregnant. <laughs> I see a head nod. Is that Aaron? Aaron? Yeah. Um, I was like, I'm going to, you know, gain all this weight because that's just going to be how I am. That's just me, you know? And I already had this cra this crappy mindset about pregnancy and labor and delivery and all this stuff. And it's just like, I hadn't even gotten pregnant yet. But I was like, well, maybe if I lose some weight prior, it'll be better for me when I go to actually have kids and less, less have to work on later. So, um, I ended up, I remember at the end of 2014, my husband and I had just, no, 2015, actually, no, wait, 2015, wait, 2014, <laughs> the end of 2014, um, I, well, we were, we started to try to have, to have, you know, a baby or whatever. At the beginning of 2015, it was January 8th, I think, I'm weird about dates, I have a really strange memory, um, I had learned that I was pregnant, and so I was like, oh shit, because at the time we had just sold our house like really quick. It was around the holidays um, and we didn't expect to sell it that quickly because we didn't have a, a net, another living arrangement because we were going to be building our a home. So we had to rush around to try and find a temporary place to live. We had to, um, one that would only allow a six month lease, would take a dog um, and you know, we had to be out by like January 20th or something crazy like that. And so, um, I had scheduled my first doctor's appointment in Nashville. Um, and I got there and I, we got in the, um, ultrasound room or whatever you want to call it. And, um, I had learned that I had lost the baby. Like, there was no heartbeat or anything like that. And so I, gosh, Bernie, I say I'm never going to cry or, oh, sorry. Um, I was just immediately assumed it was like, you know, this is not the right timing. There's so much stress going on in our life. This is what it's meant to be. Right. And so, um, we decided to just kind of let it, my body do its thing. And, um, I was numb. I was numb to it. I, it, it honestly didn't hit me that this had happened. Um, and so I went back to be checked out, I think about a month or so later and she had learned, or she had said that my body didn't do what it was supposed to do. 
And I don't know how else to really say this, but the way that I viewed it was like, it was my, like, it was, it, it, it was still clinging to me. And that was the most disturbing thing for me. Cause I was like, I, my body needs to be, you know, doing its thing and, you know, whatever you want to call it. And so, um, on April 1st, I ended up having, um, one of those DNC procedures to have it removed. And the rest of the year was just kind of like a whirlwind for me. Like I still was going to my boot camp classes. I was still doing that, but my nutrition was totally off track. I lost or gained all of the weight that I had lost from the year before. Um, and I remember at the end of that year, it was November around Thanksgiving. Um, a couple of good friends of ours, she had gotten pregnant two months after I learned I had a miscarriage and, um, they had their first child and we went to the hospital. I remember looking at that baby and thinking like, this is supposed to be us. And you know, it was just, it was, that's when it really hit me. And, um, I was like, okay, like this is, I've got to, got to get my, my shit together and get healthy again and, you know, focus on me and, and my health and all of that. And so, um, at the beginning of, 2016, January, a, almost a year to the date, sorry, that I had learned about the miscarriage. Um, I learned that I was having twins. <laughs> and for me, I looked at it as like a sign that God was like, hey, <laughs> you get to have your, your first baby back. And so you're having two for the price of one. So I have now, you know, <laughs> almost three-year-old healthy twins, and um, it was just kind of like a full circle moment for me at that point. <clears throat> so sorry I did not want to cry, but here I am. Um, so anyways, <laughs> during the pregnancy, um, I was really like, oh my gosh, I'm ready to work out again, like, or do something to be more, you know, on my game and just feel better and, and this and that. And I knew that working out while you're pregnant is, is pretty good for you anyways, especially if you had been doing it before. Um, for the first four months, I was miserable. I was dealing with morning sickness, or actually no, all day sickness. Um, almost had to be taken to the hospital one day because I was so dehydrated. Um, and it was just crazy. It was, I did not enjoy pregnancy for the most part. <laughs> um, and then second, second trimester, um, I was, I was going back to my boot camp classes. I was modifying as needed. I was loving it. I was like, oh my gosh, I feel so much better and whatnot. And then, you know, third trimester when you're having twins, it's, you have to start really taking it easy. Um, they're towards, I think I was like 29 weeks. And so I milked it. <laughs> I milked that and I enjoyed it. Um, at 36 weeks I was induced, um, because everything was looking really well, um, for me and the boys. And so thank goodness I was, um, induced because I learned that I had eclampsia um, the blood pressure issues and stuff that you get, that you can get before you have babies. And so I had that actually after the fact. So it was a blessing in disguise that she went ahead and was like, Hey, let's induce you and go ahead and give, you know, have the babies and everything. So anyways, um, <laughs> that's a little bit about me. That's a lot about me, probably too much more than you guys wanted to know. Um, but yeah, so as far as, you know, objections I had, you know, I've been following my now coach, Ashley, for that whole time I was pregnant, um, up until I enrolled, of course. And so I'd followed her for about a year and a half. And the reason why I really liked following her was because she was very similar to me. Like I related to her a lot. I loved how she was real because I was not comfortable being like super real, especially on social media. Um, I liked how she was, um, uh, what do you want to say? She liked to work out, but she also liked to have a good time and, and, you know, live life and this and that. And so, um, I was like, man, that looks fun. Like I had no idea that she was with the beach body. I didn't really know what she did. I just knew that she was like, she was working from home and I was like, man, that looks cool. Like I would love to be able to do that. Like, you know, whatever. And I remember telling the girls at boot camp, I was like, man, I wish there was a job to be a professional cheerleader to women, like motivator to women on their fitness journeys. And I had no idea that this is really a thing until I ran into coaching and I was like, Oh, this is like perfect. Like I didn't want to be a personal trainer. I had no desire. Like I feel like when you're a trainer, you have to be like hundred percent on your A game. 
And I don't want any of that. Like, I just want to be like real and, you know, not perfect and just cheer you on. Um, and so I went at her a little differently than most coaches do. Um, I wanted to work the business right off the gates. You'll learn uh, here in a minute with Brittany's story. You know, a lot of people want to just get into it for the discount or they're needing it because it's like a life or death type of situation. For me, it was because I wanted to start, of course, working out from home because it was very difficult making it to those boot camp classes once I returned to work. And, um, I needed something different. And honestly, I was ter I was terrified of change because I was so used to going to a gym. I was so used to being, you know, having a trainer telling me what to do. And I was like, this is going to be the end of my like wellness journey. It just is. And, um, so I was like, well, I'm going to go all in. I'm going to be a part of her accountability group and this and that. But while I'm in her accountability group, I am also going to be paying attention to the things that she's doing so I can duplicate what she's doing when I start running my own groups. And so, um, yeah, so I did that for about a month and then I started running my own groups and that was two years, over two years ago, two and a half years ago. Um, and I recently, um, started coaching full time. Uh, my last day at a job I was at for almost 12 years. I left on June 28th and have not looked back. I loved where I worked. I loved the people. I had the most amazing leadership, but I have been so drawn to coaching and what it's done for me and what it's doing for other women that are in my pack. And so, um, I just love it. I absolutely love it. But the biggest objection that I had when it came to working this business was the time. When in the hell am I going to find time amongst my eight to five job, mom and wife and, uh, daughter and sister and like everything, like when am I going to find time to do any of this? And so what I would, you know, I was just like, I just don't think it's going to work or, you know, whatever. I was like, I'm just going to try it. So I would do it in power pockets. And what I mean by that is, you know, I would get up and while I was awake or while I was up during my pre-workout, I've always been a morning worker outer. I know it's not a real word term, whatever, but I make up things. And I would sit there and like drink my pre-workout. And while I was drinking my pre-workout, I would create my post for the day. Or I would go ahead and post the check-in for the, my, my group, or I would, you know, do whatever I needed to do as far as work went for coaching. And then I would work out, get my kids ready or get myself ready, get my kids ready, um, take them to daycare and go to work by eight o'clock. And then I would, you know, any little ounce of time I had at work, free time breaks, when I would go to the bathroom, my phone was in my back pocket or my purse or something. I was doing things in the bathroom. I was texting or texting coaches, you know, clients, whatever, checking into groups, whatever I needed to do because, hey, that was my break time. I, I could do whatever I wanted, right? Um, my lunch breaks, I would work during my lunch breaks. I would, um, you know, work after the like, kids went to bed at night. Um, sometimes my husband would watch them a little bit while I like, you know, or he would cook dinner and I would be hanging out with them and doing a couple of things, you know, um, whatever I needed to do. It was power pockets. Anyone can do this business. Anyone can, it's not about finding the time. It's about making the time. We all have the same 24 hours in a day. And it literally was just probably maybe an hour, two hours of my day that, coaching required of me, but that's because I chose it. My, in my goal for all of this was to become a full-time coach. So that's why I put in all the work in the beginning to really like make this into a thing. So that's, that's me. <laughs> that's Kay Sykes. That's, that's my girl. <laughs> You cracked me up. Thank you for sharing your story. It never gets old. And I'm really proud of how vulnerable you get. So, um, from the top, <laughs> uh, again, um, my name is Brittany. Um, I am 26 years old and I live in Lexington, Kentucky. It's gorgeous. Um, and my story starts a little bit earlier. Um, unknown to me um just 
you know, just stuff that you don't realize when you're a kid. Um, when I was 11 to 12 years old, I started to develop signs of depression and anxiety and binge eating disorder. Um, for those of you guys that don't know, binge eating disorder is kind of like, it could be, you know, compared to like bulimia, but without the purging. So it's just thousands of calories in and a lot of weight gain. Um, so, uh, you know, just in, you know, you think that kids are just like struggling with their emotions and puberty and stuff like that. It's like, she'll be fine. She'll um, so yeah, funny story. Um, <laughs> so I, I, back then I lived in, uh, the beautiful McCall, Idaho ski resort town, about two hours North of Boise. Um, and we moved to Lexington just because we lived in a resort town and there was a recession going on and that's not a good time to live in a resort town because nobody can afford to go on vacation. Um, we came here for a wedding. My family loved it. We moved. We had no extended family here or nothing. They just liked it and moved me and my sister. Um, so we get here and um, I, like things just like don't feel right for me, you know, for a long time. And like, we're all ladies here. And so like, I had like the big magical woman moment and like, but like, it was like weird. Like something was off the rails there. Try to manage it for about a year and a half. Um, I started getting, I mean, severe stomach pains, like just fetal position on the floor, couldn't move, crying. Like my mom thinks that I have been having like an appendicitis, like, um, so we ended up going to the doctor, it wasn't my appendix, whatever. Um, but I still felt like shit. Sorry if there's kids around. I still felt horrible. Um, and I didn't know what was wrong with my body. Um, so I, I did in this process have to learn at a very young age to advocate for myself. Um, but eventually two doctors later, way too many doctor's visits, tons of lab draws, all of this. Um, I was diagnosed with polycystic ovarian syndrome, hypothyroidism, and insulin resistance, which was explaining all of the, you know, stomach pains. You know, what it was, was I had like a cyst rupture, um, that was on my ovaries and, um, it just, things started to finally make a lot of sense. I got put on medicine for it. Um, and that medicine, I don't know what it was. There's different side effects to different things. Um, but basically I couldn't take it anymore. I couldn't take the way that I felt. I felt horrible all the time. Um, I felt lethargic all the time. I mean, my parents would pick me up from school and I would instantly fall asleep in the car for hours. They would have to wake me up for dinner and then I would go back to sleep. I just, I was miserable and I hated it. And I hated feeling that way more than I felt not being on the medicine. So I stopped taking it. Um, so you go through high school, you know, like kids are mean. I'm the fat kid, whatever, but at least I'm the funny fat kid, you know, um, I'm likable. I can make friends. Um, so I, I get through high school relatively unscathed, you know, minus the depression. Um, I go to college and the thing with PCOS is that it there's a lot of other things that go with it, but that and the thyroid issues, I gain weight very easily and it's very difficult for me to lose it. That coupled with my, um, eating disorder that was fueled by my depression and anxiety, it made for a tremendous amount of weight gain. I wasn't just a fat kid anymore. Like I was like going to die by the time I was 30, you know? Um, so I get through high school, um, and I go to college, um, like an hour away. I went to university of Louisville. I was going to be a nursing student, um, which was like my lifelong dream. You know, I've always wanted to be a nurse. I specifically wanted to work in a pediatric oncology unit. Um, I had my life all figured out. So I go like an hour away, um, just far enough away from home to not have regular visits with my family. Um, and I was like auto paired with a roommate who uh, didn't share the same values as me. So we didn't really talk very much. Um, and I just, it was, it was a downward spiral that I've never experienced in my life. Um, 
in that semester, that first semester alone, I probably gained close to 50 pounds. Um, semester is like three and a half months. So that's not awesome. Um, and I remember I went to this final for psych. And I hate that fucking class anyway. It was my only 8 a.m. class that I had. I never wanted to go to it. And I just, I hated psych. So um, I didn't really want to go anyway, but it was the final. You have to show up. So I go. And um, the, the class was in like one of those giant classrooms, but that's not where our final was. Our final was broken up into sections of the class. And we had to sit at one of those desks that has like the table built into it. So I go and I try to sit down and I don't fit in the desk. I, I do not fit in the desk and I have to take my final exam. My option was at the front of the class uh, or like room that they had, lecture hall. Uh, they had a chair and a random desk sitting there in front of everybody. And I was the person that got to walk up to the teacher that knew that I hated being in her class. <laughs> and um, I got to tell her that I was only going to be able to take my final if I could sit in that chair. And it was horrible. <laughs> um, I told my mom that I was like, I, I need to come home. It wasn't just because of this, but she knew like the things were really wrong. I was super depressed. Um, but I, I had to see out the next semester, like classes were already paid for. I missed the deadlines. Like I had to go. So I finished it. I came home every single work weekend. Um, my classes ended like Thursday evenings and, um, didn't start again until like one o'clock on Mondays. And so every Thursday night I would drive up to Lexington. I would work 30 to 35 hours a weekend, get some money and, uh, drive back. And that's what I did. And then I ended up leaving. My intention wasn't to stop going to college altogether. I was supposed to go to UK, but my transfer process got kind of messed up. And um, what it did lead me to was one of the biggest blessings because with my transfer process being messed up, I kind of stepped into full-time work and it showed me how much I love business. And um, that's what I've done now. I've August is 12 years that I've had this job. I've worked from the ground up from stuffing goodie bags for birthday parties. I work at a kid's gym, um, stuffing goodie bags for birthday parties all the way to management. Um, it's, it's been the ride of a lifetime, but it hasn't been perfect, you know? Um, cause while everybody got to see, you know, happy Brittany, smiley, Brittany, bubbly, Brittany, the Brittany that's good with kids, the Brittany that's good with people, um, that really loves her job, all of this, it, it couldn't mask the person. Um, at least too well, um, that would spend every second outside of work in her room, like in a basement, not talking to anybody, not talking to family, like lights off, depressed all the time. So, um, one thing that I did have throughout this entire time was my love of fitness. I loved to work out, but I could not work a bad diet. So like me having this great revelation once or twice a year about how I was going to change my life and get fit and get happy finally. It, it didn't work because <laughs> you can work out all you want, but if you're not fixing your nutrition, if you're not fixing what's in your head, like it's not going to stick. It's not going to matter. And that is the position that I would find myself in a month or three months or five months after this fitness, healthy life revelation. So, um, let's see, that was like college and all that. That was like 2012. Um, <laughs> I know that's like burning Kayla's skin probably, um, <laughs> cause I make jokes about her being the older one all the time. Um, but uh, <laughs> I, I'm doing my work, I'm doing my thing. Um, and, but again, the depression, it just, I never addressed it. I didn't think I needed help. Um, or even times like I knew that I wasn't supposed to feel that way, but <laughs> I was not going to go sit in some therapist's office and talk about my feelings absolutely under no circumstances. No. And if you've known me for any length of time, I don't do a whole lot of things that I don't want to do, <laughs> which has gotten better um, over time, but my way or the highway. So uh, 20, end of 2016, yes, end of 2016, um, one thing that I did have through high school, through college, <laughs> the year, um, and beyond was I had this friend circle and 
you know, it was one of those that like hindsight's always 2020. You know, I thought that they were these amazing friends. Um, but kind of like at, in, you know, towards the end of 2016, I realized like that I needed help. I mean, I was 350 pounds at this point, um, struggling. I hate, I couldn't look at myself in mirrors. Um, I don't even know if my mom knows this. I had covered up all of the mirrors in my bathroom. Um, I would only use like a small face mirror to look at myself to do my makeup. Cause at least I could make myself look pretty, I guess. Um, and I was supposed to be a maid of honor in, or not maid of honor, bridesmaid in my best friend's wedding. Um, we had like fallen out kind of over the year, just not talking very much. Um, and so it kind of felt weird to be a bridesmaid in her wedding, but I ultimately couldn't get a hold of her. And so I texted her and I was like, I like, this is a me thing and not a you thing. I want to go to your wedding, but I can't, I can't stand up there. Like, I hate myself. I can't go dress shopping. I can't pay for a dress that I'm going to resent myself in. I just, I can't do it. And I'm so sorry, but I can't wait to watch you and my other best friend at the time get married. And I never got a text back to this day. I have never heard from her again. And I've never heard from any of my other friends that I've been friends with for seven years. I know that she got the message though, because word travels fast, you know, Facebook and all of that and all these, you know, lovely text messages that I'm getting. I know that she got it. So I had no friends, super depressed, super suicidal. Um, at this point, uh, new year's rolls around another fitness revelation shocker and planet fitness was doing their, uh, dollar down $10. Kit was laughing at me dollar down $10 a month deal. And I was like, sweet, I'm on it. So I, <laughs> I buy this at like the beginning of January. I don't set a foot in that gym until February because I was really serious about it, clearly. Um, so I go in, this part sucks. Um, so I go in and I'm like, you know what? Like nobody's gonna be on the treadmills. So I go upstairs and I find like the furthest treadmill away from anybody in that gym. And um, I'm just getting my walking on. Um, <laughs> and, uh, I, I hear these guys talking behind me and like one person on my shoulder is like, Oh my God, they're totally talking about you. And the other person on my shoulder is like, you're not that cool. Probably not. Um, <laughs> you know, and, uh, then they proceeded to moo at me like a cat. And I knew that they were talking about me at that point. Um, and that sucked, you know, uh, they didn't know that I was suicidal at that point. They didn't know that that was my last stitch effort. They didn't know that everything planned out that I was in the process of, I had my steps and I was in the process of it. They didn't know all of that. And I can't fault them for that. But, um, but yeah, it was kind of the end of the road for me. Tears streaming down my face. I leave. And, uh, I never return except once because it took me two years to cancel that membership. But, um, what I did have was I found this girl on Facebook, um, like November and she had this like zest for life. I'm like, cool story. Never have I ever had that, but that's great that you do. Um, but she shared like beauty tips and makeup tips and she worked out from home, but I didn't care about that. I was in for the beauty tips. And every Friday, she would do this video called Friday Faves. And um, she would just share, like, products that she loved and stuff like that. And so I was here for it every day. And I loved her energy. I loved her smile. I loved her sarcasm. I loved her enthusiasm and zest for life. And again, I didn't think that I was capable of that. Um, but, you know, it, I, it was really cool to see other people just love their life. Um, that person ended up being my mentor. August of 2017, I decided to try the home workout programs because I really wanted to, <laughs> again, really wanted to get in shape. Um, but it was for my sister's wedding this time. I knew I was serious. I knew I needed something. I was almost 400 pounds. I was miserable. I felt horrible every day. I could feel my health declining. And I knew that if something didn't change that I would probably be dead by the time I'm 30, um, whether or not it was something that I did to myself. So I start, uh, super serious about it. Of course, holidays hit, not so serious about it anymore. Um, 80 day obsession came out January of 2018. 
I went all in on it. Um, and it, it changed my life. <laughs> you know, I, I had finally committed to something. I had finally proven to myself that I could start something and stick to it and see it through. Um, even when it was hard, even when I didn't want to be there, I was still showing up. And that was something I had never done before. And I decided that I was ready. I wanted to share this with other people. But at that point, I was still over 350 pounds. I had gained back some of the weight that I lost in the fall. And um, I had less than 200 followers on Instagram. <laughs> and uh, I, basically, I had zero criteria to be a health and wellness coach. Literally. Overweight. Still so far to go. No following on Instagram. I have no friends. Uh, but, you know, I haven't talked to my brother-in-law and my sister. Um, but good news is that you don't need any of that. Um, my coach and these are tools that you would have access to gave me everything that I needed to be successful. Uh, she gave me some tough love when I told her that I didn't think that I could do it. And so I did, I told myself I was going to take it seriously. And within two weeks, there's about like 300, uh, thousand coaches. Um, and within two weeks I had propelled myself to, um, in the 2000s. So I was in the top 1% of the company after two weeks. And I knew that this was it. Like this was something that I could be passionate about. Uh, what I love about coaching is that I still work full time. It's shown me that I can be passionate about more than one thing. It's shown me that I can be really great at two different things that are very, very different, um, without, you know, being a slave to my phone or my computer or work all the time, I'm able to take off time when I need to. I'm now able to vacation when I want to. I can buy my dream car that's sitting out in the driveway. I can do all of these things um, on one income and on my own because I'm my own boss and this, that's what this opportunity has been able to provide to me. So, you know, it's had its ups and downs, but ultimately um, for me, just sharing what I loved. Because um, like I mentioned, I had tried a different multi-level marketing company before. And it wasn't for me because selling mascara to people like it was going to change their Tuesday wasn't realistic and I didn't love it. And, um, you know, so I, I just focused on sharing something, whether I was just proud that I worked out three days in a row, um, or whether I had a 30 pound difference in my before and after pictures, I just continued to share something that I love and something that's changed my life. And, as long as I've led authentically with that, I've been successful. So that's kind of, that's my story. That's where I'm coming from. And, uh, I know that Kayla and her team lead the same way that just authenticity wins always. Can I say something real quick? Yeah. <laughs> I love you. Love okay. you. Um, sorry. We really like to make things awkward. Just kidding. <laughs> 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 But I want to share a couple of things too that coaching has done for me. Um, just listening to me kind of do the same. Um, if you just started following me recently, I think the only one that has known me from day one is my sister, Rachel, that's on this call right now. And I have not always been so comfortable with myself that I just put it all over social media. And what coaching has done for me is made me feel more comfortable with who I truly am as a person. And I feel 100% okay being unapologetically me. And that's what this community and, um, well, here we go. The community and everything has, you know, done for me is like, I'm, I'm supported, I'm cheered on. And, you know, Brittany and I, we act like we're, we've like known each other for years and years, but guys, we just met last September and it's just crazy. This, this, I need it. Like I always tell her, I'm like, Brittany, I needed you like so much, so longer, so much longer ago, you know, like I needed you in my life, but I know I need, like, I need you now in my life because of you know, certain things, but it's just crazy. Like the friendships, the community, people just like really rooting you on and, and, you know, um, it's just cool. And so just really being able to be unapologetically me has been the biggest, I think, takeaway from all of this and being encouraged to be myself is just really, really cool. So I just wanted to share a little bit on that because, um, coaching has done more than just financial freedom and, you know, 
trips and all of this stuff, it's done a lot for me mentally more than anything. Yeah, I completely agree. And, you know, that's something that I think it's easy to see on like a highlight reel of social media. You see the trips, you see me getting my Jeep, if you guys follow me and all of this stuff. Um, Going on cruises, things like that. Huh? (laughs) I was going on cruises and things like that. casually traveling the world together. It's fine. Um, (laughs) but hard work, (laughs) you know, what, yes, it's hard work, but totally doable. Um, it really is, you know, going, like I said, I've lost that like friend circle who ends up being like a total crap circle. Like they can like piss up a rope. I don't really care what they do, but like, I wish them well, kind of mostly. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, like they didn't treat me. I treated them great. I was an awesome friend. They were no friend of mine. The people that are in this community now, people like Kayla, even people like uh, Shelby and Courtney that are on this call, um, you know, that I've come to know and love. Um, and my fellow, I call them like sister coaches, but I feel like it sounds weird, like sister wives. Um, <laughs> but they are, they are like my ride or dies. Like they clap for me so hard all the time, whether I am rocking it out or whether I need to pick me up, like they are there for me the same way that I'm there for them. And it's, um, back to like what I was saying about Instagram, like it's like, you see all the trips and stuff, but you don't see what it does on the inside. I would not be on this journey right now. So I can guarantee I would bet a million dollars that I would have quit 50 times by now if I didn't have the accountability. (laughs) of uh my clients or the people that even just like follow me on Instagram I see that they see my stories I'm like yeah these people know that I haven't worked out yet today and so you know like I need to show up but it's given me that it's given me um it's given me a reason to believe in myself um even when I don't believe in myself if that makes sense like to keep going I guess even when I don't think that I can anymore it's just it's really beautiful um So, Kayla, do you want to talk? Oh, wait, is it my turn to talk? I think it might be. Yeah. I'm I'm reading your text. We're very organized, guys. Um, (laughs) Kayla, do you want me to talk about money and stuff? Yeah. So, we know why you guys are really here. We know. (laughs) We know. Not for us. (laughs) <laughs> you know, I'm just messing. You know? Um, no, we, we know you guys are like, okay, how in the heck do they make money? How did Kayla quit her job? Like, how is this happening? You know, how is Brittany driving her Jeep? Okay, Brittany, let's go ahead. Okay. This is Kayla. This is not who's talking right now. <laughs> Actually, I am talking, but this is not who's supposed to be talking. Brittany, where are you at? Okay. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, so let's talk about a Jeep, guys. Um, no, I just, I honestly, I brought up the Jeep because I literally, I have it for over, I don't know, like six weeks now. And I never really thought about how, like, coaching is, like, literally the reason that's sitting in the driveway. Like, I couldn't have done it on my one income alone. And I, I work for a small business. Like, it, it pays what it can, but, yeah. you know, like, <laughs> so, um, ultimately, what we do is just like what my coach did when I signed up. I told you guys I was struggling. Um, and so I reached out to her looking for a way to get healthy. And, um, you know, I talk about how I love fitness and stuff. I have a family friend that's a personal trainer that gave me like not a personal, not like a friend discount on anything. Um, I was paying hundreds of dollars a month for personal training sessions. Um, and so when I reached out to her, I was like, or him, (laughs) um, I was like, yeah, this is, uh, no, when I reached out to her, when I reached out to Ashley, I was like, yeah, this is gonna be really expensive. Um, and it wasn't, (laughs) it was like a third of the cost of my personal training sessions (laughs) each month for like a year. (laughs) And I was like, oh yeah. Instead I thought, oh yeah, I'm for sure getting scammed. (laughs) Honestly, whatever. There's a 30 day money back guarantee. Um, so but that's what we did. She got me started on my health and wellness journey when I was ready to share this with other people and just talk to them about, um, the programs that had changed my life. Um, my only regret is not starting earlier thinking that I needed a transformation to start because you don't, (laughs) you're inspiring as is babe. Like whoever's watching this, you really are. Um, but yeah, we, we talk to people and we get them started on their health and wellness journey. And, um, 
ultimately, I mean, like that's it. And, you know, we share stuff like this, like the coaching opportunity too, um, to give you guys the ability to do the same thing that we are. Um, I, I can like debunk the pyramid scheme thing real quick. So first of all, those are illegal. <laughs> um, you can Google it. There are, you know, other companies that have gotten in trouble for that, but you're welcome to read up on the rules, policies, and procedures of Beachbody. And it's all legit. So um, don't worry. I read them before I started coaching. <laughs> I'm super skeptical over here. Uh, but it just seemed too good to be true, right? Like all I do is help people like, okay, but that really is it. Um, so the nice thing about this opportunity is that at any time with a lot of work, um, Kayla and I, and any other coach or potential coach on here has the ability to rise to the top, like at any time, just because you're building your business doesn't necessarily mean that you're building, you know, your upline or whoever, um, you have the ability to set the bar, set the bar as high as you want. Um, and really with a lot of hard work, anything's possible. Like I said, when I started, I went, um, from just getting a 25% discount on products, which that for those of you guys that don't know, we had a 25% discount on all of our products. It's a great, um, <laughs> pro to being a coach. Um, but I went from just getting the discount to the top 1% in the company in two weeks because I worked hard, but because I said the bar hard for myself too. I just said the sky's the limit and I let whatever happened happen. So, um, let me see here. Um, I've got my notes from an old call. So, um, as far as income, I told you guys how we help people. Ultimately, um, what we do is, like I said, we give people the foundation to get started on their health and wellness journey, which is usually includes like a year of Beachbody on demand. So you guys have all the tools and, um, you know, like shakes and meal plans and nutrition guides, all of the stuff, the same exact stuff, in fact, that you would need to start your health and journey, your health and fitness journey with us, whether you were deciding to coach or not. So truly I can say from the bottom of my heart, there is no cost an additional cost to be a coach than there is to just be rocking out your own thing that you're doing. So, um, when we, enroll people, we get a 25% uh, commission on that. That's the most common way um, that we help people, but there are other options. You know, you get 25% commission on other products too. Um, it took me about three weeks to really see the potential of this business um, because after three weeks, I had a paycheck that matched the equivalent of my weekly income from my full-time job. And I was like, oh, like this is a for real thing. Like the money's in my bank account. Like we, we're golden. We're good. <laughs> so you like, you can't take it back now. So, um, but like I said, the sky's the limit. Um, it's primarily commission based. We get lots of bonuses for doing our job. Um, we get tons of recognition and like free stuff too. I'm sure you, if you follow me or Kayla, you've seen us get, you know, the backpacks and the t-shirts and the swag and, um, all of this stuff, um, which is really just a pat on the back for doing the things that we love. So, um, does anybody have any questions or anything that they want me to touch on at all here? I know that was kind of brief. Um, it's one of those things like that I could get into a lot, a lot more detail with it, but it would just be kind of confusing unless you're on the inside of it. So any, <laughs> that's my parents telling me goodnight, like a five-year-old. Mama L. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Oh okay. Uh, yeah, I'm saving up for a house. So I live in my parents' basement. No, just whatever. It's fine. There are other ways we make money, of course, but, um, that's definitely something that we can get into, you know, later. Um, but that's just kind of like the gist of it all. And I want to touch real quick on what we actually do as coaches. Cause I feel like we didn't even talk about that. So as you guys know, you see us on social media, you see us sharing and, and, and sharing our journey and all of this and inviting people to join, you know, our, our online wellness community. So what we do daily, um, and this is choice by choice that Brittany and I actually co-run an accountability group together. And so we kind of split the duties in half. Um, and before like in this, we've only been doing this since January. So for a year and a half, I was doing it solo. Um, and Brittany was doing it solo for her first bit of coaching as well. But we check in daily where we actually have a post that goes up at a certain time of day 
asking people to check in with their workouts. And when, you know, when they check in, like when we're done with our workout, we check in too, to show like, Hey, we're doing it too. We're in the trenches with you. Like you're keeping us accountable. We're keeping you accountable. And so we'll go through and like, you know, give them some love, shout them out on their, their check-in and such, and just let them know like, Hey, I see you like, good job, you know, type of thing. Um, today was something called Tuesday or tip Tuesday tip. And so, you know, I went live and shared like a tip for food freedom stuff, like a topic on that. That's what they wanted to hear about. So I talked a little bit about it. Um, and then like, sometimes we do like fun little challenges and stuff. We may do like plank week where they have to, you know, hold a plank for a certain amount of time or as long as they can hold it on Monday. And then each day they increase it by 10 seconds. And then like they're, they're growing confidence in themselves and getting stronger and stuff over the week and someone can win a gift card. And so it's just fun little things like that. Do you have to do those things? No, it's just something that we choose to do. Um, so basically it's like we were heavily checking in and just, that's our way of cheering them on and, you know, um, answering questions as they come up. And we've kind of structured the community to where like everyone knows, like they can ask questions and it may not be one of us answering it. Maybe one, someone else, you know, answering it. So it's a really cool thing, but it's such a community thing. Like it's, it's great. Um, but did you want me to touch on enrollment? Oh, yeah. Do you want me to show them the group real quick? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah, we haven't done this before. All right, come on, guys. Field trip. Guys, like, um, do not screenshot this. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no copyright. Copyright. No, yeah, let's okay. group. Okay, I'm super Can I share. See my screen here. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god, I thought that closed out the call for a second. <laughs> so this is our group. It's called Eat the Damn Cupcake because being a slave to your food choices <laughs> is not an option um, to us. But this is what Kayla was talking about. So like every morning we've got this uh, sweaty selfie post and we've got like all of these incredible people checking in, like saying that they've done their workout, which is so motivating um, because you can't like see your clients doing this and not get your workout into. So it yeah. definitely like pushes you, um, to get the thing done. Hold on. There's a lot more than I thought there were. Um, but again, we've got like sweaty selfie posts. We give everybody like a warm welcome and it's just like such a supportive community of people. Um, earlier, you know, Kayla did, a uh, like a live topic about talking about food freedom. Um, and then we, you know, set goals for the week, stuff like this. This is what we do to encourage other people. You can do it with somebody else. You can totally do it by yourself too. I did it by myself for months and months and months. Um, but you know, ultimately we like combining our forces. We have our, our very like-minded people. We have like really funny gifts in here and stuff. Um, but we're, we're very like-minded. Um, it's why we're business partners is why we work so well together. Um, so it made sense for us. And uh, I feel like it's, kind of, um, you know, and, um, rubbed off on our own coaches because most of my coaches, they're working together with someone else. And it's just because they see us doing it and we encourage it. Like we, we don't want you to be alone. You know, um, the, when it comes to those graphics and stuff, you guys see, we will teach you how to do these things. Like this was not something that I just like, I know how to be a graphic designer. Like I literally had to like Google and, and go through trainings and, you know, cause what trainings we have access to from our coach is what you guys get access to as well. You'll be a part of her team page and see all of the trainings, all of the, you know, I don't know, things that she shares and stuff too. So like you get access to the best of the best. And I want to say this too, because we haven't said this yet, but whoever enrolled, this month is going, can be a part of a super awesome mentorship. Like a really, like a, the opportunity of a lifetime mentorship. Um, so just throwing that out there too, because you guys are always going to be supported in some way, shape or fashion, especially when it comes to training. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. For those of you guys that don't know, our coach is the number one coach in the network. So like Kayla mentioned, not only are you getting resources from the number one coach in the network who underneath her is the number three coach in the network, you know, all of this amazing stuff, you get these resources that 99% of the network doesn't get access to. Um, but you also get stuff like this, uh, mentorship that Kayla is mentioning. Um, that opportunity is led by only some of the top coaches 
in the network. It's, it's an incredible experience. I'm looking forward to it. If you join with me, I'm going to be in the trenches with you. Kayla will be too. Um, so you're really like never in this alone. Um, you get a 14 day like coaching university just from Ashley. You get all of this incredible stuff, but with that, you're also getting access to your coach and you know, like Ashley, like she is like one person. I love her to death. She changed my life, saved my life literally. Um, but, um, it, she's one person and it's really like, we don't get a lot of one-on-one -on -one time, but with our coaches that are on our team, we're able to provide a lot of one-on-one -on -one interaction. We do like weekly mentorship calls with you guys. We host a team call every single Thursday, you know, like we're here for you and we're ready to match your pace for whatever, whenever. And, um, that's something that a lot of people can't provide. And Kayla and I are like really blessed, you know, to be able to offer that to you guys. All right. Do you want to talk about how they enroll? Yes. This is the last topic I believe too. Yes. So I will make it quick. If you guys, while you're, while, while I'm going through this, if you guys have any questions, please drop them in the chat section. Um, I know most of you, I believe, are not currently enrolled. Um, so this will probably make, you know, I don't know, mean more, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Are you gonna are you sharing anything or am I just talking? Um, I can probably share something if you want. Can you see that? I'll just go through it real quickly. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Mama L. <laughs> I thought you were no, start talking to me. <laughs> okay, so I've never even met her mom, but like we're, we're we're besties. She doesn't even like know it. Um, so <laughs> I want to share real quick what comes with enrollment because we talk about enrollment and what it means to you know enroll with us with with a coach or customer. No matter what you do, whether it's customer or coach, you're always going to enroll in what Brittany was talking about: a year access to Beachbody on demand, which we've learned is now over, I think a little over 1200 workouts, uh, programs from 20 celebrity trainers. Um, super trainers is what we call them. Um, and there within each program, there's the program's meal plan, meal plans tailored to every level. Like, you know, we, we all fall in different categories. Um, there's so many recipes. There's an, an e cookbook, um, with tons of recipes. If you guys, um, see as making things, chances are it's probably coming from like the cookbook that we have access to. Um, this is like, I think the worth of Beach Bar on Demand is like $1,500 in content. And that was like a year or so ago. I heard that. Um, and like you are getting it for a really, really good deal. <laughs> we'll say that, but it's a year long access. So if you enroll say tonight, then you're going to have access from now until August 6th of 2020. Um, and then um, there are different options, but the, the most common one a lot of our girls do is they do the, the yearly access to Beachbody On Demand. Um, they do the 30 days of our superfoods, which is Shakeology, if you guys have heard of that. That's what we talk about all the time. It's, it's, that's what we drink. Um, you'll get a canister of our pre-workout, which is the yellow juice. I call it mama juice, a unicorn crack, mama crack, whatever you guys want to call it. It's amazing. Um, I cannot work out without it because it's just awesome. I even drink it just to like mom, just to do my chores. <laughs> um, it's really cool. And then, um, oh, you've got, are you good, Britt? You want to post it? Go ahead. Just going to give you guys a visual. Okay. Yeah. Can you guys see? There we go. I've got like a lot of stuff pulled up right now. Um, but this is like one of the do you have the deluxe one i don't have the deluxe um i could pull it up but basically it's like all of this stuff just not with like the three-day refresh or the bars okay um, so super. yeah so the deluxe one is like she said without the bar where'd it go okay without the beach bars without like the three-day refresh it's the, the shakeology the um two canisters um, and it's actually going to come with your new, with the newest program. Uh, you're going to be able to unlock the newest program that is not actually being released to everybody until October 1st. So you get to actually do this. And this is one that I'm going to be starting in a couple of weeks. So, um, hint, hint, jab, jab. I'm inviting you to do it with me. Um, but that package is actually on sale for $219. So it's not the one that you're looking at on the screen. 
but it's, I think like $250 in savings, but you also get the stuff that you guys see here where it says B100. Um, it's going to come with a motivational, a daily motivational journal that you may have seen people, you know, sharing about. It's where you write your intentions for the day, what your goal is, what you're happy about, what you're excited about, like things of that nature. Um, you're going to get a wall tracker um, that actually lets you like, it's a dry erase like board type thing and you can hang it up and like mark off as you go, you know, the days that you finish, um, you'll get a nutritional guide, recipe booklet all in hand. And basically you're getting that stuff for free because the, the challenge pack I'm talking about is normally 220 anyways, but it's now on sale with all of this stuff with it. So like I said, you're, you're really getting all these extras for free <laughs> in my personal opinion. Um, and Brittany and I may have some promo codes to give out where you can get an additional $10 off. Just saying. Um, the other two options, if you are focused more on nutrition, if you're not really into like the pre-workout, post-workout, is the Shakeology Challenge Pack. Again, it's annual access to Beachbody On Demand. Um, you're going to get the VIP access to the morning meltdown program and um, a 30-day supply of the Shakeology, a shaker cup, um, access to our group, and then us as your coaches. And then if you want more of the, if you're more focused on like energy and, and things of that nature, then you would probably do the performance pack, um, which is everything that I just said, minus the Shakeology. But most people do steer towards the other one that comes with Shakeology, Energize and Recover, because they want to try all three. And really it's the most bang for your buck when it comes to that. Um, and it just makes, it makes sense. It does. Um, <laughs> but we would be happy to share like our flavor choices and stuff like that, like one-on-one -on -one, um, and what we like, but I know Brittany and I drink all three and we love it. It's done great things for us. So, um, but it does, what's cool is if you do not enroll in any of that, you have to pay $40 to become a coach. But when you enroll in one of those challenge packs, that $40 business starter fee is waived. So basically you aren't really paying to, start your business. I mean, you are, but you aren't, if that makes sense. So you're not really having to pay the extra starter fee because it's waived with the purchase of a challenge pack. Yeah. And the nice thing is that also, um, regardless of the, you know, the success is ultimately a choice, um, in my opinion, but regardless of the level, level of success that you have, there are, there's no inventory been there, turned that, got black mail, blacklisted from the company that I worked with before <laughs> um, because I returned inventory. Um, there's no inventory. Um, you aren't, you know, keeping track of like payroll or like anything like that um, as far as keeping your business going. And um, just regardless of the level of success, you don't have to meet any monthly minimums as far as like sales. I hate that word, but sales go, um, there's nothing there. Like you can just be a coach and get that 25% discount and there's nothing expected of you. Um, it, it, it truly is just what you make of it. Um, which has some accountability involved, but it's also really wonderful because truly, um, whether you're just trying to cover the cost of your products month to month, um, or if you are wanting to retire yourself and spend more time with your babies at home, um, or create a dream life for yourself, um, really the, the options are completely endless and it's all up to you. Ta-da! We did it! <laughs> <laughs> Before we get off of here, do you guys have any questions for us? It can be about anything. Anything at all. Anything. That's not a song. I was trying to make a song out of it. It kind of sounded like that Valerie song that's in a commercial now. Anything. Uh, anything. anything. <laughs> okay. I'm so glad that we are, enter, you know, entertaining you guys. I mean, at least so, you guys know what you guys are saying. You're, you know what you're signing up for. So. We, know, we know why they don't <laughs> enroll. <laughs> we'll be like, they're, um, they're signing up for the Ashley girl. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Wait, my computer froze. Anyway. You're good. I can still see you. All right. And hear you. Okay. So, question. 
Antonetta. Um, it works. I, I don't know anything about the products. Um, Kayla, do you? So, Antonetta. I, I, I know what I, I, I know what I think I know about it, but I don't, I haven't actually researched the company, so I don't want to spread information that isn't true. Do you have like a certain, like, as far as like how, I guess I'm just trying to like dig. I guess, yeah. Are you wondering like how it varies in like products or business structure or? Yeah. There was something I was going to say. Oh, I was going to let you guys know too, since Brittany had mentioned this about her um, self. I've, I've worked for other MLMs as well. Um, one was like a skincare spa type company. Another one was actually a wellness company. Um, and it was super like product driven and stuff. And like, I, looking back, like I know why I wasn't successful back then because like, I just, I've always been in sales, but like, I felt like I had to like really push products and stuff. And that's what I love about this is like, I'm just sharing my journey. I'm sharing who I am as a person. I am cheering others on and it's not about <laughs> a challenge pack or Shakeology or anything like that. Like those are the perks, but I get to connect with people. I get to connect with you on a different level and it's a really, really powerful thing. And that's, I know why I've been here for so long. Yeah. Yeah. I've been able to say, um, you know, the same thing about coaching and I'm like, if I had to do it for free, I would do it for free. I, the difference, um, really between, how I talk about things, you know, like makeup or, you know, like I have hair extensions for those of you guys that don't follow me. Um, the, the same way I talk about that is the same way I talk about my health and wellness journey. You know, my only difference is that now I'm able to, um, share this with other people and, you know, use it to, um, reach more people. I'm able to use it as a platform and, um, provide a separate, you know, like, like, for my, like a, a completely different life for myself than I could on like one income. So, um, yeah, we are, um, technically, oh, go ahead. Before you get into Kelsey's question, mm -hmm. um, I want to say this to, uh, kind of to Antonetta's, um, question. Um, where was I going with that? Oh, in general, whether you're with Brittany or myself, we are not, you know, people come to us sometimes and they're like, well, I'm just not a salesperson. Um, you know, I'm not this, I'm not that. And like, we, it's good. We don't want you to be like, we, we, we will believe in certain sales tactics when you're talking to people and all of that, but like meaning open ended conversations, like actually having a conversation type of thing. But you know, we don't, you'll notice we're not slapping graphics or, you know, anything on like our social media or being like, you know, join us or this and that. Like, it's just more of, we want you just to become, be, become, uh, you know, you and, and share more about yourself and your journey and what this light, this, this opportunity is doing for you type of thing. It's not all like a sell, sell, sells, push, push, push. And like Brittany said, there's not certain quotas or things that you have to meet when it comes to um, this opportunity. Yeah. So, um, real quick, I wanted to touch on what Kelsey's question. You got Kelsey's question. Yeah. Yeah. So I, uh, I guess like technically Kayla and I could be like competing against each other, I guess. I don't know. That's not how it works for us. We have two <laughs> separate coach IDs. Um, we have the same mentor. Um, we run completely, our, our businesses are completely separate, but we choose to run our, groups, um, and like our online accountability community and our coaching group, um, together. I, I think that, um, really it just, it, well, it's totally a personal choice. Um, but for me and her, like we, we balance each other really well. Um, like she's like the dreamer and I feel like I do like logistics. <laughs> um, like she makes me think outside of the box and I'm like, okay, we can't do like a hundred things at once. So like pick three. Um, you know, um, but we're, we just, we feel like we work a lot stronger together. We're able to come up with different ideas and, um, I don't know. It's, it's just a business relationship turn friendship turn like best thing ever, but it is like totally option optional. Um, and, and then, you don't have to have the same upline to do it either. Like there's yeah. no rules 
and being success partners, we like literally I can be a success partner with someone else's coach on a completely different team. It doesn't matter. It's just hap- they just so happen that we connect it and we both are underneath the same coach. So yes. it can be, if you know someone else in the network and you're like, I kind of want to team up with them, like go for it. Yeah. We support it. But we do have our thoughts on success partners. So that's a different story. Like you got to be strategic when you're selecting one, but we could talk about that later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's like a whole other conversation. Um, yeah. But definitely. Um, yeah. As far as Beachbody coming to Australia, the rumor is hopefully n- next year. You know, I, it's just the thing is, though, is that um, especially for things, it's not just about like being able to stream Beachbody on demand and being able to ship stuff, um, stuff like Shakeology there's like 70 different types of superfoods that are in there. And because a lot of countries have far stricter regulations as far as like the quality of ingredients and stuff like that, which is bomb for oh, you guys. Y'all. We're eating crap, yeah, basically. Like horrible stuff um, is approved by the FDA. Um, but um, it, it, it just takes a little bit more legwork for them to be able to ensure that they're able to maintain the quality um, while getting it worldwide. So it definitely like meets all of those standards. Um, it just takes longer to get it there. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, Antonetta, as far as um, income, it, it is essentially 25% commission, but there there's more to it. Um, I think your invite might have come from Kayla, and so she can elaborate more on like how we make more money. But that's like the simplest way <laughs> to explain it. You can, yeah, you can definitely make a little bit more and on different things and stuff. Subscriptions, you get a little bit more with, yeah. if they decide each brown on demand, you're going to get more than 25%. But typically we go the challenge pack route because it's more sense for the consumer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. I appreciate you guys staying late. We don't normally run this late, but you guys are bomb for hanging out with us. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Australia. <laughs> That's so cool. You're probably so annoyed with me being like, oh, this is cool. But yeah, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's I'm a weirdo. Just, just accept it. Any other questions before we get off? Because I mean, we, we can be here all night. We need to. Kayla can be here all night if she needs to. <laughs> that Enneagram 7 coming out right now. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, I have, I have bedtime. <laughs> Gotta go. I think we touched on everything we had planned on, you know, talking about the biggest thing at this point is, you know, if you're ready to like do the damn thing, you know who to reach out to. Um, we'd be more than happy to talk through more details and, and things like that. Um, uh, just know that there's tons of resources, training. Um, if you're one of my girls, I have a, tr- I, I was a trainer, I have a training background. I was a trainer for seven years at the credit union I just came from. So like, that's our jam. Brittany is great with resources. Um, and so that's kind of why we just work really well together. So again, cannot reiterate this enough. You guys are not alone. You're always going to have access to the most awesome resources I feel. Um, and so, um, we're here to mentor you. So it's more than just, Hey, enroll with us and be a coach. It's like, Hey, let's enroll and let me help you let me mentor you into building a successful business like we have so yeah yeah enroll and let me show you how you can change your life yes totally no big deal no big deal i mean it's it's fine it's not very much i understand why you wouldn't want to do it so <laughs> all right guys <laughs> thank you again so much thank you time. guys you are so welcome we, we are oh very conscious of um other people's time and we know it's a priority and or you know like there's other things that you could be doing essentially um than hanging out with us so it is greatly appreciated thank you so much from the bottom of my heart our hearts our hearts bye bye bye